In about 2010, I was in a Tai Chi class and in that kind of half meditative state. And I saw the shape of the story. This is really weird, but it's, it's true. Uh, it's floating in this sort of iridescent, beautiful blue bubble. And it sort of brought tears to my eyes. And I thought, yes, I don't know exactly what I mean by the shape of the story, but I, it was a feeling. And the next day I saw a dragonfly, the exact same color blue. And I thought, that's an omen. I'm on the right track. And it seemed that every time I made a major decision about the story, I saw a dragonfly within 24 hours. At some point during it, I started putting dragonflies into the story because I thought they obviously have to be there. And then I thought, her name means dragonfly. And this takes a bit of self-talk because I get so involved in the story, I forget that it's not true. And I had to kind of step back and say, Wendy, you're the boss. You made up the island, therefore you made up the language. Um, nobody knows. You can say that Asa means dragonfly in this unknown language on an island you made up. So once I'd done that, it yeah, became clear. And the day that I sent the last draft, I, I went out and laid down on the lawn and, and, and I opened my eyes and I looked up and there was this cloud of dragonflies hovering over me. I've never seen that before or since.